going to that time of year again when everyone's starting to train again for next season. And people, a lot of people think it's a good time to go to the gym, which generally it is. And the questions people like to ask is, what should I actually be doing in the gym? So there's no need to really be around the bush too much. You might as well just actually have a look at what the sort of exercises they're doing and um, the reps in each of the studies. So we're going to go through this study today, um, which is uh, in-season strength and maintenance training increases well-trained cyclist performance. So basically saying... If you do some strength at the beginning of the year and then just do some maintenance in the season, you can still get a lot of the gains. So anyway, this paper I've, I've gone out before, it's pretty useful. But anyway, they've got a whole sort of article about exactly what they do. So they only do five exercises, which is quite good because it means it doesn't take too much time up. Um, the first one's um, the squat, uh, which is pretty you know, self-explanatory, pretty obvious. Then leg press, they have it recumbent. I'm not sure if that's 100% necessary or if flat is fine, but anyway, nonetheless. Um, and then they have hip flexion, which is like a weird one where you sort of like lift your leg up and out. Um, and then the last one is calf raises. And Ron Stad, who writes this paper, really likes calf raises. Um, the justification here is all to do with um, the peak force pedaling, which goes at 100 degrees. And so they're trying to get them the exercise to be formed about 90 degrees in full extension. So that's sort of where they're going at. So it's not really, really acute angles. But again, it's not um, it's not just purely power. Um, and then we go on to like how many reps you should be doing. So you can see early off, they start with a little bit more reps, but probably it's some less weight um, with like three by 10 at the beginning. Um, and then you can see week seven, week 12, they get towards uh, three by four. And actually in the on season, you can see they're doing really, really small stuff like two by five or one by six. So again, you can see the reps are not big at all which is what everyone thinks because you want to be gaining strength not muscle mass um from these so yeah that's basically the sort of exercise you do i think you could also add deadlift i don't think that's a bad one to add i mean a lot of cyclists don't do deadlifts um a lot of them do but i think it, that's not a bad one to add because it's compound exercise um and then the only other real ones you could think of maybe hip thrust um or single leg squat those are always good ones to do as well um and yeah that's basically like all you really need to do in the gym um, which is pretty decent. I don't actually do hip flexion because it's just a bit annoying to set up, um, but lunges would also suffice if that is easier to do. But those are sort of the things that you should be doing in the gym uh, twice a week uh, if possible and normally on the days you have intensity afterwards, um, but obviously the next day is also okay as well. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did find this video useful um, and I'll see you in the next one.